awesome. Feel like the wind blowing in my hair and uh, just cruising down the street, easy. They flew in from out of nowhere. I first noticed the bird scooters maybe two weeks ago. They just dropped off a ton of them and now they're everywhere. Along sidewalks and businesses, charged and ready to give users a ride to their destination where customers can leave them. If you live more than half a mile away from the beach, it's kind of a strenuous walk sometimes, especially if it's hot outside. So it's a nice, cool ride. Tim DeWeese is a first-time user, and like many first-time users, doesn't fully know what the laws require, like wearing a helmet. So far, I've seen over 50 people riding these things, and I've not seen anybody wear a, wear a helmet. I have never seen anybody ever wear a helmet on one, I can comfortably say that, and I've seen hundreds of people riding them. Riders aren't allowed on sidewalks, must have a driver's license, and be at least 18. The app tells you this before you agree to the ride, but many are breaking the rules. Yesterday I saw a dad scan his ID right in front of my store and his 12-year-old son rode it right into the farmer's market yesterday. Owner of California Sock Company says he rode one himself, but has a lot of questions. My initial reaction is, these are pretty cool. How is it legal? Bird has a tax license to operate in San Diego, but the city's looking into whether additional regulation is needed. The Santa Monica DA's office filed a criminal complaint against the company for breaking licensing rules. The city also cited scooters blocking sidewalks, driveways, and wheelchair ramps. The company says they want to cooperate with local governments and that safety is a priority. They're now sending customers free helmets. Our store is all about the fun. PB is all about the fun. It, it fits the vibe great. I just want it to be awesome and legal for everybody and safe. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News.